Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olis, the son of Nude, is my name. I hope I find you quite well. It's a Monday. We've just come from a weekend. And the big news is that what many of you have been waiting for, what many of us have been waiting for, has now finally happened. You know that there were uh, speculations. There was a lot of uncertainty as to what cabinet President Cyril Ramaphosa is going to name and at some point there were delays which were perpetuated by the fact that one of the main coalition partners uh, that is the Democratic Alliance were threatening to pull out because some of the demands that they were, make, they were making uh, for their participation or continued participation in the coalition government were not being met but finally they found each other with the ANC. They thought their relationships uh, and the cabinet was announced. So that is at the weekend. Now you know that especially if you are a migrant living in South Africa uh, your main interest has always been to know who becomes the new minister of home affairs. Is it going to be Gayton McKenzie? Is it going to be a, can, a continuation with Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti or a new person was supposed to is supposed to take over or will take over. Then the second ministry is the Ministry of Health and then the Ministry of Police. So now the cabinet has been announced and now Gayton McKenzie has not been allocated the position or the post of Minister of Home Affairs or Police that he was angling for. Instead, he has been named as the Minister of Sport arts and culture so is no way near dealing with migrants either directly or indirectly as he has been agitating for abahambe he has been agitating for the the removal of life support system or switching off of life support systems that are saving migrants that is at government hospitals so the Minister of Home Affairs, I know that is where most of your interest lies, is Mr. Uh, Leon Scriba. He is from the Democratic Alliance. Now you will know that the Democratic Alliance has an alternative policy on migration which says that those that are already in South Africa should be given uh, some amnesty and then be told, be given a certain amount of time where they need to uh, formalize their stay in South Africa or else they will have to leave the Republic. But they have been saying also, especially through their federal chair, that is Helen Zille, that Zimbabweans who are on the Zimbabwe exemption permit should be formalized in South Africa because Zimbabweans in general who are working and living in South Africa are uh, helping a lot in terms of growing the South African economy. They've got a positive contribution towards the South African economy and therefore they need to be formalized uh, to continue working, living and doing business in South Africa and also contributing to the fiscals of the country in terms of paying tax, in terms of skills, in terms of uh, skills transfer, in terms of uh, serving the various fields in which they are employed or are doing business. So, but we know that no single minister can come up with wholesome changes to migration policy or to any policy that they come up with because it has to be approved by government. So the minister, what the minister does is he is the political head of that particular ministry. He works with some experts in that particular field, including the director general whose day-to-day -day running, uh, whose day-to-day -day activities include data analysis of that particular ministry and suggesting to the minister in how certain things can be done and then the minister tapples those things in cabinet and they then go through parliament where they have to be approved so the minister is not going to do everything on his own but there are things that the minister can
do in that particular ministry. So while we cannot jump the gun and say the DA minister who is now in charge of home affairs is going to come up with all some changes, going to take decisions based on uh, their party policy, uh, we need to understand that everything that they come up with has to first go through cabinet and then the president has to sign whatever law they come up with or has to approve whatever plan that they come up with. So, But now we are hopeful that there is going to be some bit of uh, uh, improvements in the manner in which the Home Affairs Department is being run. You know there is a number of backlogs in terms of permit applications, in terms of waiver applications, in terms of uh, asylum seekers permit applications. And also we hope that there are a number of things that were uh, introduced by the former minister, that is Dr. Aaron Mutsualiti, which were sweeping that we hope are going to be reversed. You know that there are court cases that are ongoing and the new minister takes over. Uh, we hope that since they've lost at the Constitutional Court, the Department of Home Affairs is not going to continue pursuing the ZEP case or that is the cancellation of the ZEP case. So we are hopeful uh, that whatever they come up with is going to be pro-migrants because we know that migrants away from what uh, Helen Zille said and what the DA said, we know that migrants have been contributing a lot to the South African economy, uh, which is more than what xenophobes and those who say Abahambe uh, even understand. So that is where we are. The, dep the, the Minister of Home Affairs is Mr. Leon Scriba. His deputy is Mr. Njabulo Nzuza. Then the Minister of Police uh, is... Um, uh, Senzo Mkunu is Mr. Senzo Mkunu. His deputy is, uh, he has got two deputies, that is Paul Boschiello and Cassel Matale. So that is another ministry. You know that there have been people that have been rounded up uh, a number of times, especially on Thursdays and Fridays, put in the Kumba Kumbas, and some of them have been made to pay a lot of money uh, to the police and where they have been released without any charges because they have bribed the police. In fact, the police have erected a nest in which they have been netting uh, migrants, including those that have documents, but that would have left those documents at home. They have been arrested. Uh, then when they want to have their documents brought there, they are sometimes made to pay some 300 rand before they can be released. Uh, some have been taken to Lindela as well, where they have been taken to court. And uh, some have been taken to court, I mean, where after some time in the cells and they've been taken to Sun City to serve because they don't have the required documents to be in South Africa. We don't know what is going to happen there, uh, if these uh, operations are going to continue or if they are going to be stood down because at the end of the day, the South African government has been losing a lot of money netting people that have been released because the borders are porous, because the police are, uh, are corrupt and they've been made to pay uh, some fines. Others have been made to pay some bribes. Most of them have been made to pay some bribes. They've been bribing the police, uh, especially during month end. That is when many have been arrested and made to pay bribes, even when they have the documents. Uh, the deputy, uh, I've said, the deputy ministers in that particular field are Pauli Boschiello and Castle Matali. Then the Minister of Health uh, is Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti. He is back there. You know that the last time that he was there, uh, he introduced some payments for foreigners that want to be treated in South Africa. And even now, that is stood, you know, that whether you're documented or not, there have been a number of migrants that have been made to pay 5,000 rents up front before they can be attended to. So we don't know if he's going to introduce new uh, anti-migrant uh, policies and laws uh, targeting the health sector. There, we hope that he's not going to do that, but with him, you know, anything can be expected. Uh, his deputy there is Joe Pasha, that is Mr. Joe Pasha. So that is what we have for now. Uh, we will continue monitoring the new developments in those particular uh, in those particular ministries that especially deal directly with migrants and migration, uh, and we will continue to tell you what is happening in that particular field. We will continue to cover them uh, as they come up with their policies and they roll out their different policies. But for now, this is where we leave it. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Thank you.